Welcome back guys to Pinocchio Crossover. Marky Mark here, your host for tonight. We're going to go straight into our NBA highlight topics. What do you got, JR? So there's been a lot of things happening in the NBA. You know, it's a brand new year. Still things happening, especially with the situation between in the Boston uh, Celtics. I know mm -hmm. the Raptors played Boston just a few nights ago, but I just want to highlight something that happened uh, just within the week. So Kyrie Irving had a spout with one of his teammates or a few of his teammates after a game, you know, shouting either at Gordon Hayward or Jason Tatum about, you know, not make, not shooting the wrong shot at the end of the game against Orlando Magic and they lost that game. Um, but, and now Kyrie Irving is, he reportedly called LeBron James to apologize about him knowing that like LeBron James is that type of leader that he could, he, he understands what LeBron's role was before he left Cleveland, uh, kind of there. So he basically called LeBron to apologize. So what are you guys have thoughts about the whole situation between Kyrie Irving? Does he, is this, is this a you know, weird situation or is he, is he just trying to find some attention to himself? Mm -hmm. Well, in a sense, I think what finally Kyrie's I'm trying to, uh, starting to understand is that when he was, um, when he was under LeBron's, uh, under playing for the Cavs with LeBron, mm -hmm. what he didn't have to deal with was the uh, things outside of basketball. So mm -hmm. for him, he just literally had just had to play basketball and play his best and didn't have to think about the dynamics of what it takes to have a championship built team like LeBron had to do, yeah. which is, you know, learning his teammates, learning how his teammates are, their personality, going off court and, you know, having this kind of like maybe practices and talks with the coaches, with the, mm -hmm. with the players, building relationship, all these kinds of things to gel everyone together and, and have them kind of set course in the same uh, in the same path and the same goal, which is to win a championship. So those are the things that LeBron was doing that no one was giving him cre credit for or understanding how hard it is. Mm -hmm. So for Kyrie, he he was he was just focused on basketball during his time in the Cavs, and now that he was uh, that he moved to Boston, now he had to do exactly what LeBron was doing already naturally mm -hmm. as a leader, mm -hmm. and he didn't realize how hard it is, how hard it, um, to just not focus on basketball, but to focus mm -hmm. on the dynamics of a team, to understand your teammates, to inspire them, to motivate them, mm -hmm. to um, to learn how to put them all together and and make them work as a squad and to be a championship contender team. So that's kind of what. Uh, why, why he's apologizing because he didn't realize how hard it is. He yeah. didn't realize maybe that it's not something that everyone just has or you have to work for it. Because the difference, I think, what I noticed with LeBron is that when LeBron was at the Cavs, they were winning. But then when LeBron was gone, they were not playing well at all. Mm -hmm. But the difference is with Kyrie is that when he was playing with Boston, when he's there, he's, he's the best player. You can tell he's the best one-on-one -on -one player that they have. But when he was gone, uh, for injury-wise, the team was playing really good. They were mm -hmm. playing really well. Mm -hmm. So it's a difference between um, uh, these young players that he's mentioning. Why would they respect someone in terms of their leadership if they play better when he's injured? Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. LeBron is that they understand how, how important, how impactful LeBron was when he was there for them because when, they, when he was injured, when he's not playing, yeah. they can't win basketball. Mm -hmm. So my take for Kyrie is he's just learning and understanding what it takes really to be a leader and it's not easy. It's not easy. I yeah. know LeBron, yeah. LeBron, like... LeBron has, you know, leadership capabilities, and he, mm -hmm. Kyrie was just young on that Cleveland Cavaliers team. He didn't mm -hmm. really know, yeah. right? So now he he finally understands what LeBron was going through, what he what he was saying towards Kyrie Irving during the Cleveland Cavaliers days, mm -hmm. and understanding what, you know, what it takes to uh, try to be a leader and help this team elevate them from being a championship team because they're only in the fifth and sixth spot mm -hmm. in the East. So they're trying to make it to the playoffs. Well, they are going to make it to the playoffs, but they're trying to make a deep run in the playoffs and hopefully beat the top teams in the East and make it to the finals once again. And Kyrie trying to lead his team mm -hmm. towards the finals. My question to you guys is, do you think he has that kind of dog, or he has that kind of leadership in him? Or is he just the kind of player that is really good to have but will not kind of lead the team mm -hmm. to a championship? That's my question. Do you guys see that in him? Yeah, I mean, um, I think he's still young. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's what twenty five, twenty six. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, right. um, I I I think he does. Um, he's still, yeah, he's still super young, but he's also supremely talented, and he has to understand that not everybody's as talented as him. Mm -hmm. um, so with his messaging, he definitely has to work on it. I think he took it for granted yeah. uh, when he was in Cleveland, and just LeBron handled everything. And LeBron's mm -hmm. obviously he just he's he's just been a leader since. He started playing basketball. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I think Kyrie will eventually grow to it. He'll grow into it, whether it's uh, by himself or whether he gets guidance from Brad Stevens. Um, but it's definitely in him. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Kerry needs to use his, again, his guidance from other people around him. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there are a lot of leaders on that team. Like, Gordon Hayward's yeah. a really good player and leader. Brad mm -hmm. Stevens, for sure. Even mm -hmm. though he's a young coach, he is their coach, and he has led his team not only from, I think, he, went, he, went, he coached at Butler, right? Mm -hmm. Coached from Butler and leading the Boston team, where the Boston team wasn't really playing well post Paul Pierce era, mm -hmm. and now they're you know, going to the playoffs and making it deep, like making a good run to the playoffs and now having Kyrie Irving on the squad. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's just it's just a crazy situation about what's happening. But, I yeah. mean, we'll see what happens what, uh, throughout the next few uh, weeks, hopefully before the All-Star uh, All Star game, and see if Boston can make it uh, make a, a run for the later spots in the in the seeding. So mm -hmm. make, make sure they hopefully they get back off the fifth seed and make it yeah. to, towards the third seed maybe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just to speak on that, I... I think what Terry Rozier said is that they have too much talent, and I actually agree with him. Mm -hmm. um, I think with the Celtics, they don't, like, Kyrie's obviously at the top, and then Horford's around there, but mm -hmm. after that, they don't really have a clear pecking order. Mm -hmm. And you definitely need that if you want to be a successful team. Like, everybody needs to know their role, mm -hmm. and I don't think they have that just because they have too much talent. Mm -hmm. um, that's so, what I see the difference between yeah. the Boston and, and the Raptors because mm -hmm. the Raptors have exactly. a clear role in yeah. terms of what everyone is supposed mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. And they know that uh, Kawhi is their best player, Lowry is their secondary guy, and yeah. everyone has a specific role. Whereas with the Boston Celtics, mm -hmm. you don't know who you're going to get in terms of who's going to take the shots, who's yeah. going to be the one setting up the plays, who's going to be the one bringing up the ball, mm -hmm. so, and who's going to be the guy coming off screens. There's just, they have so much talent, but the th yeah. in, in terms of the talent that they have, they're also versatile and that you don't know what they could be, what's their yeah. mm -hmm. actual role. Yep. The only one I know that has a specific role in them is Al Horford. Everyone yeah. else can do so many things. <laughs> Al Horford knew what, no, what his role is, yeah. but Kyrie, <laughs> Hayward, Rozier, um, Tatum, and Brown all can yeah. do so much things that Sometimes you have too much options, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like if you go yeah. into a buffet mm -hmm. and you have too much options and you just can't <laughs> choose. And that's, that's what they have. Yeah. They, 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 can't, they can't be exactly the best that they can be. And yeah. I think that's why when Kyrie and um, Gordon Hayward was out last year, mm -hmm. they were able to play at their best because everyone had a specific role. Tatum yeah. was the yep. go-to guy. Yeah, exactly. Jalen Brown was their two-way player. Rozier was their defensive kind of um, guy that just sparks for them and then Horford mm -hmm. was just the glue guy for them. Yeah. And then, this, but, this type of situation about who's trying to find a role, they were going to have that either way the season before mm -hmm. if Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving weren't hurt, mm -hmm. right? So it was a good and bad situation that Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving got hurt later on yeah. throughout the, in the season and then they were able to find a, uh, find some roles with Jason Tatum and Terry Rozier and mm -hmm. make a deep run in the playoffs. But now it's it's the situation where people were, have been talking about what's the situation if Hayward comes back and then Jason Tatum is playing yeah. the same spot, this and this, Terry mm -hmm. Rozier is playing well, and now Kyrie Irving is back. So yeah, this is the situation that they were going to have earlier, but now at least they can figure out now what their situations are and who's going to mm -hmm. play which role and role, hopefully, and then they'll be a good team later on. Make, mm -hmm. make, uh, again, make another deep run in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully not yet soon, because we want the Raptors to yeah. win. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs>